For nearly seven years, Grace and Evert van Seitfeld have been waiting for justice for the deaths of their children and Grace's parents in the MH17 tragedy. It's a very difficult day for us, you know, it is, uh, it is, it's now uh, the first day of the prosecution and uh, yeah, it's very difficult for us. At a high security location near Amsterdam's Schiphol airport, relatives of the victims arrived to hear the next stage in the murder trial of the men charged with the 2014 downing of the Malaysia Airlines flight. Four individuals, three Russians and a Ukrainian national, have been accused of the attack. None are in court. And only one of the accused, Oleg Pulatov, is being represented in the proceedings. He has denied involvement. A disappointment for the relatives who remain determined to seek answers over what happened. It's just a pity that they uh, are not showing up. Uh, you know, that is, we like to know who, who they are, etc. But, you know, we have uh, the status that uh, the justice, uh, the court should decide. And that's, uh, we trust on that. What follows this week is the dredging up of bitterly painful memories of how a Boeing 777 jet en route from Amsterdam to Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia came to be shot down as it flew over eastern Ukraine, now under the control of pro-Russia rebels. Russia has always denied any involvement. President Putin even blamed Ukraine for not shutting down its own airspace. Both an international and Dutch investigation concluded the plane was hit by a book missile. The prosecution says the missile was trucked into Ukraine from a Russian military base. All 298 people on board died. Most of them were Dutch citizens. Over the coming days, the court will hear evidence of how the victims died. Maybe tomorrow will be a heavy day for uh, the family members because we're going to talk about uh, identification uh, of the bodies. But in general terms, um, there are two, three questions. Was it a book missile, where was it shot from, and what was the responsibility of the suspects. The hearing will continue until early July, and relatives will be able to address the court in September. In the quest to find answers, the details will nevertheless be harrowing. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera.